I do everything, me. The horses, the dogs, the lottery, whether it'll snow on Christmas Day. I've got five million to one on the Beatles reforming before 2010 as the original lineup plus Elvis on washboard. I read that the odds on winning the lottery are 14 million to one. I thought, great, I only need to do it 14 million times. Maybe not even that many. Oh, Wendell, 50 lottery tickets, is it? Uh, yeah, uh, and a scratch card. Have I still got time to put a bet on the 3.15 at York? Just 10 quid on Grid of Deceit then. Grid of Deceit takes an early lead, but he's closely followed by solitary confinement. Come on, Grid of Deceit! Come on, lad! Oh, bloody hell. Thanks a lot, Wendell. That's the end of that one. What are you talking about? The race isn't over yet. Grid of Deceit's in the lead. You can have 16 legs for all I care. No bloody horse is going to win once you put your money on it. Oh, I don't believe it. He's fallen. Grid of Deceit has lost his jockey and Grid of Deceit is now off the course altogether and Solitary Confinement takes it by a mile. I've just put Come him down on. so it should be no problem. OK. I've made up a bottle for him in the fridge. OK. Bye. I picked up these brochures for the new Metro. It's a lovely car. And if you do... Lynn, I am not driving a mini Metro. But you do have to make substantial savings, Alice. I am not driving a mini metro. If you do, we could keep Pear Tree Productions open with, say... There's no point in you finishing your sentence, Lynn. I am not driving a mini metro. But if you do, we could... I'll just talk over you. Go on, try and finish your sentence. Go on, see what happens. They have a lovely range, Alan. I am not driving a mini metro. Great fuel consumption. I'm not driving a mini metro. You'd look lovely in it, though. I am not! Driving a mini metro! No, no, it's different now. It's got a Rover metro. Well, they've rebadged it, you fool! Well, if you want to keep your Rover 800, you're going to have to sack everybody at Pear Tree Productions. Fine! Including Dave. Dave? Diligent Dave? Well, he's my favourite. Well, fine, I'll sack him! You smiled then, Lynn. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I can read you like a book. Not a very good book. Certainly not Bravo 2-0 by Andy McNabb, which actually improves with every read. You smiled because he dumped you for a younger woman. She's not younger. She's 50. So is Helen Mirren. Did it win? Did it bugger. It ended up with the horse being shot by its trainer outside the port of loose. You'll have to stop doing that, Wendell. It's the fifth one this week. Oh, I've won ten pounds. Did you get any numbers, Wendell? I've got all six of them, Mother. But they're on different bloody tickets. I went to see Dr Khan this morning. I'm dying, Wendell. What? I've got cancer, love. It's all over my body. Dying? I, I, I don't want you to die, Mum. I can't do without you. Anyway, Jerry's let me have ten to one on you reaching a hundred. <laughs> <laughs>